Yo, people, welcome back to another episode of Pod Ghost with your amazing hosts. Well, one amazing host. <laughs> yeah, I'll put the gunshot up. So <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you have that. So, today, guys, we thought we'd um, switch it up in the sense that, you know, we've always thought, let's bring on musicians or an actor or a singer, you know, anything on the lines of entertainment. Mm. So, we thought we'd today we'll make it more entrepreneurial, going to the business world a little bit. Yeah, 100%. So, we would like to bring on. Actually, wait, before I say that, yeah, you must have seen him online as well. Yep. He drives a mad McLaren. He was <laughs> rolling gold. around, rolls gold. He was rolling around in central London, queues upon queues, people watching it. But yeah, you must have seen him online. We'd like to introduce to you the Mr. king Gerbs. of e commerce, Mr. Gerbs. Humbly, humbly. <laughs> How are you, like? You good, yeah? Humbly, humbly. I thought that was your <laughs> name. I said, Mr. Gerbs, he goes e commerce, Mr. Gerbs, he goes humbly, humbly. <laughs> so look, welcome to the show, Mr. Gerbs. How are you? I'm good. I'm just not liking this winter weather, man. It's putting me in the mood. It's already dark outside, boys. About four o'clock, it goes dark. I feel like I'm Well, I'm ready dark, to go to bed at dark. six. Yeah. In the <laughs> summer, I was ready to go to bed like 11, 12. I'm active, bro. Nowadays, I'm ready to go to bed when it turns dark. It's like mad. Yeah. <laughs> bro, to be honest, the weather is actually just starting like this, bro. It's going to get worse. 100%. For everyone, bro, I, I'm hearing late December... It's yep. going to be a madness. Remember, path. there was a hot day in November, yeah. and I was like to my girl, How's it so hot? She was like, It's global warming. I was like, How do we carry this on for the winter then? <laughs> I mean, you just keep driving around McLaren. You'll be there all right. you go. <laughs> I just keep doing laps around my yard. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I just I keep it warm. I wouldn't mind being cold in the McLaren. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. problem. I'm good. So, uh, go, my brother, welcome to the show. Thank you it's for been, having you know, me. Very, man. You know, nice of you to come on. I know you've got to be exactly one hour. You're going to be got at a hour. concert, yep. oh, yeah. which isn't too far from here. So luckily nah, for you. Right. So, Gervs, you know what? When we, before we start any podcast, we always want to go into our guests. Just a brief history of where you're from, what you do. Yeah. And you know, like we said, you're the king of e-commerce. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what you do. Yeah. So, without further ado, just go into what is e-commerce, how you got into it. And yeah, how the passion started, brother. Okay, yeah. so I actually got into e-commerce about two and a half years ago. Now, yeah. for those of you that are watching and don't know what e-commerce is, it's selling products online. Anything. You sell something online, whether it's on Amazon, on eBay, on your own online store, such as, let's say JD, they've got an online store. Anything they sell online, mm -hmm. that comes under e-commerce. E-commerce, yeah. So e-commerce is the selling of anything online. If you want to start your own online business and want to sell, let's say, vapes online, yeah, e-commerce, okay? okay? That's what e-commerce is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like online shop, basically. Yes. Because it is nowadays exactly, like we said the other day, I remember sitting, sitting with my missus. Yeah. And we're just sitting there, and we're like, I never thought there'll be a time where you can order like a yogurt mm. to the house. Exactly. It's mad. My mum wanted, what did she want? She wanted broccoli. She's like, guys, go out and get it. I did it on Uber Eats. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even like, you might go believe me. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you might go believe me. Shopping. This yeah. was last, this was like two days ago, yeah? And no one's going to believe me unless I show you. Is, is, you, you ain't going to believe me. You know wait, wait, wait. So are you telling me an Uber driver came and handed you like... Was it one broccoli? piece of broccoli or the actual <laughs> nah, flour? Nah. Here, 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 bro. <laughs> Look what it was. It was Yorkshire puddings, broccoli and a Lucasade. <laughs> You know, as much as I'm gonna laugh at that, I've even seen people order a Red Bull on Uber. That's, <laughs> That's mental, man. Oh, I didn't want to go outside, man. Yeah, no. I was like, like yo, I'm look, going on Uber. Obviously, because yeah. we're talking about e-commerce. That's basically what e-commerce is, yeah. isn't it, bro? That's it. Yeah. Okay. The whole world's gone digital. Look I'm up. here. I think soon money's finished as well, bro. I'll be honest to you, man. Yeah. Well, they're always trying. To, they're, they're always trying to do cashless stuff everywhere, anyways. So. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Now you're right. Everything yeah. is going cashless when yeah. you think about it. The whole world is eventually going to be cashless. I read something about HSBC closing. I think it's yeah. 100 of their branches yeah, or something. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. That's because they're trying to go cashless as well. Wow. So that's Apple a pay. big, big bank. <laughs> <laughs> people be careful, mate. There's there a lot of go. cash lying around. Yeah. So people need to know. But to be fair, I'm one of them people that believe in it's better. Mm. It's actually better to be cashless. True. I'm one of them ones who just yeah, think. Yeah. I've never got cash on me. Yeah, bro. I told so, you about ironing the shirt earlier. I needed, So my iron at home blew up. I needed to get the shirt ironed. I went, um, the woman's like two pounds. I was like, I've only got a card. She was like, nah, minimum spend £10. I was like, well, I'm going to have to put it on my card. Then, ain't I? <laughs> I say, wash my shirt five times. <laughs> no, but, you know, but I have no choice. I've, got, I've never got cash on me. Yeah, like, yeah, I just yeah, have no right. choice. But I think that's a lot of people now. Because, mm. you know, it's even in your, if I say now, empty your wallets out, I'm sure there's nothing in there. Cards. It's I just cards. I thought I don't even have a wallet. Apple Pay, I've just got yeah. my phone on. Oh, there you go. <laughs> well, you can show me that when you take me for my job. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah, yeah. Show, that. show me how it works. Yeah, I'll, I'll, know, yeah. I'll, I'll set up his Google Pay. I know, no, my phone's, my phone's blocked. But bro, you know what? Obviously, that's where you obviously start. You went into e-commerce, but you know what? In, 
where you actually started your mm-hmm. whole journey yeah, of yeah, making yeah. money. Because yeah. I think you're one of them buns who's quite obsessed with being successful. Yeah. You know, when I, I see you... Entrepreneurs, they yeah. fail, they want to succeed. You fail, yeah. you fail. Every successful entrepreneur has failed so many times. I myself have failed, lost it all, tried again, failed, tried again, Amazing. got there. And that's what makes a successful entrepreneur and just someone who calls himself a businessman. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 you get yeah, right, what I'm course, trying to say. There's a very big difference and that's because when you fail, you come up with a new idea. You see what else you want to do. Mm. Now, for me... I started with the whole foreign exchange market, affiliate marketing, which we'll go into later on. Yeah. Kind of lost it all. Started again two and a half years later with e-commerce. I f- saw in my head, that is a trending thing. I could have gone into crypto, yeah. too risky, no point, okay? Yeah, and look course, at everyone yeah. now, they're suffering because it's crashing. It's crashed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, so has the whole thing completely crashed yet? Not completely, so it's like half. So like Bitcoin's gone from 20,000 to 10,000. All these crypto millionaires that were like, oh, I'm worth 10 million, they're yeah. worth 5 million now. Just like that, in like two weeks' time. See, I think that's so risky. Look, look, yeah. Obviously, I don't know it much is. about Same crypto. Thing. I don't know nothing about it. Got a few friends who always say to me, you know, we make this, we make that. But because I don't know about it, I am not willing to put anything in that. No, yeah. It's just normal. But it's even not those like, who knew about it. And I might it. be stupid, but if it's not in my kismet or yeah. you know, in, for me to do, I'm not going to go and just do it because, you know, Charlie said, you know, <laughs> put you know, that much money in it. Yeah, and no, then, you're right. You know, because no one's going to really risk, risk it. Like lose. That. Yeah, unless you haven't got... Unless you know, it's excess money, money just, you know. Yeah. But even then, bro, I wouldn't. You wouldn't. That's the truth, bro. I don't like, know if you feel the same, but like, so many people come and say it to you now. Like, no, trust me, I did this. I, I just get to the point of like, now, even though I don't know nothing about Bitcoin or mm. crypto, I'll just be like, yeah, 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 I know about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just so, so they don't want to stupid. <laughs> yeah, because I don't want to sound stupid. I don't want no one to explain it because the more they explain it, it still confuses me. I'm like, yeah, you it's, just do your thing, man. It's not Especially safe. the Instagram, you know, when you get your inbox. Yeah. Oh my, I'm getting that all the time. Ah, oh, can you imagine what you get? But <laughs> we're, like, we're getting so many messages from like, Yo, do you want to join crypto? And I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Half them, you don't, you don't want to be rude and block yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just want to know because you know they've got some sort of gain in that. Yeah, yeah. Of I've course. always felt like it's a pyramid scheme. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, because I, I don't know much about it, you yeah. don't want to judge or say it. anything. Yeah, because yeah. a lot of people that go into it, they some of them are really, really doing well from it, and they are. They I are. always think it's, it's forex you, the same. I have no idea. I no, think so it is. forex no. is basically so you got crypto, which is basically like crypto coins such as. Um, Bitcoin, Ethereum, they're like crypto coins. Right. Whereas Forex is where you trade on the foreign exchange market. So you say like the pound's going up, the oh. dollar's Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Cool. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, so yeah. that's like Wolf of Wall Street type of stuff. So at least that's sense. real though. Yeah. yeah. See, Whereas, I, think that's, I think that's actually something that's got history. It's something where people have made money and lost yeah. big too. Yeah, and me and myself, with this whole Bitcoin I've stuff. seen it as a big gamble thing. I've seen people I know myself lose lots of money through the foreign exchange market and seen how risky it is, which we'll go into. Yeah. Whereas crypto, it's had such a hype. Everyone started getting into it. And then there was this one bank, a crypto bank, we'll call it yeah. FTX. They've basically gone bust, bankrupted. Everyone who had any crypto with them, and I'm talking like hundreds of millions, or I think it was billions even, there was a wow. lot. They were like one of the biggest like central banks for yeah. crypto, let's call it, yeah? They went bust. Anyone who had money with them has lost it all. Completely so done. imagine you had so people who have crypto they either have it in like something like Coinbase yeah. um, or there was this one called FTX right. anyone who had it with FTX has lost it so imagine wow. you bought a hundred grand's worth of crypto all your life savings put it in FTX it's gone. woke up it's gone no and that's what's caused the recent collapse of the crypto market where it's just collapsed because now everyone's seen how unsafe it is I so mean, everyone's pulling out their money no disrespect to anyone because again I don't know anything about it but from the moment when anyone can make a crypto coin, it just clearly goes to show. The <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that how you, what, you could just make a coin? Yeah. I don't know, yeah. I, I mean, I just see loads of people just making their own coin. So I'm thinking, yeah. how does that work? You can probably make one. See, and, and just value it. Yeah. yeah, and just value it. No, I'm sure there's a massive process. That there's, there's, it's yeah, not yeah, easy yeah. like that, yeah, but yeah, you can course, make yeah. a coin. But but then like I would invest in it, for example, but then now it depends on you, t- him to make me my money, isn't it? Yeah. Now, if you just decide to forget about it and leave it. There you go. That's wow. literally crazy. Bro, look, that's, that's another yeah, topic yeah, that's for another day, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to stay out of the that. <laughs> that's why I went into e-commerce, man. It's growing and yeah. it's less risky. Look, let me give you an example. Black Friday, all the stores empty on Black Friday. Shopping centers empty because everyone's buying online. That shows the world is moving online. Sales are yeah. moving online. So why not get involved with online sales when the whole world's going online? You're going to see all these local stores. Look at Toys R Us bankrupt. Yeah. Yeah? Woolworths. 
Woolworths. There you go. All these hurt me, big, man. big yeah. stores. Big W, innit? <laughs> <laughs> Small W. Yeah. They're all bankrupted because everyone's now buying toys on Amazon, buying things on Amazon, buying things so from true. online stores. So why not step in while there's still a chance to profit from that and build your online store? I'll give an example. How much does it cost to buy an actual shop and mm. start an actual physical shop? You're talking like 50 grand minimum investment, yeah? yeah Start yeah. an actual shop, get the products, 50 grand minimum yeah. investment. That's rock bottom nowadays. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? yeah, and the only people you're able to reach is the local community around you, yeah? You start an online store, you can do it for as little as 30 pounds a month on Shopify, okay? The people that you're reaching, the whole world. Which one's more profitable? Spending 50 yeah. grand on an actual shop yeah. or spending 30 quid on a Shopify store? Yeah, but you know about I feel what, I'll tell you what I sit with this, yeah? I'm a bit old school. Mm -hmm. When I do shopping, for example, trainers, jackets, whatever, I don't remember the last time I bought anything online. I think, I've, yeah, I think yeah, yeah. in fact, I think I've never done it. No. Nah. Really? Wow. No. Unless my missus buys me stuff, which mm, is yeah, quite yeah. often. But I have never actually gone online and ordered a pair of trainers. You say that, but when because the I, I tell you, you why, do. I'm one of them people that are like trying things on. Oh, I yeah. want to see it. You buy it. And then, you know, yeah, I like you know, <laughs> looking in the mirror. Yeah, this looks all right. You know, it goes with my, you know. But when you buy stuff online, I'm one of them people that thinks you try it on. Yeah. Even if it's just half a size small or half a size big. Now you've got to pack it up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Send it back. See, with me, I'm more old school. It's not that hard, though. I'll give you an example, yeah. I think, I think it's being lazy. Yeah, yeah it's not even that. Like, I think it yeah. was like, oh, I'm, my girl, she I'm like, whatever they shop pretty little things all of that or yeah. just like three packages tries three of them on see which ones fit which one looks best send off back the other two it's not even hard yeah. you just put it back in the wrapper yeah. and they'll come and pick it up no, no it's not hard yeah, it's just it's tedious true, yeah. I don't think it's hard yeah it's just tedious isn't it you'd rather go to a shop have a day out see with me yeah, shopping's yeah, always go. when I go West Coast for example me and my missus first thing yeah. should we get eat should we eat so we'll eat somewhere then I'll always get a coffee yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we'll start the shopping then get yeah, a little yeah, dessert yeah. in between Online, it's a bit like, you know, I think it's too jarring. I think, you know, you, like you said, yeah, like that yeah, Friday. Yeah. I remember sales used to be a thing you look forward to. Yeah, yeah. No, I used to yeah, love it. There's no know, cues. And then you see next, <laughs> and you see a thousand people. Yo, I used to work half my aunties there. Some people just used to go just for the fact of just want to record. Yeah, but bro, I think that was nice. I think that was the whole... I used to work Black Fridays at next when no I was way. like 16, 17. Do you see what I mean? I used to, and you know what? Just picking up clothes off the floor for like hours on end. You used yeah. to do boxing day sales. It was packed. Now I feel like if I walked past it, it would be empty. Yeah, so you know yeah, the yeah. fact that you just said that you worked in yeah, Next. Yeah. I've always had jobs. The thing I read about you, bro, and obviously I got to know you more of, 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 obviously mm -hmm. off camera. And the one thing that you know, struck me about you was your work rate, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like now I've found out recently you've got your own courses yeah, that you yeah, run. Yeah, and yeah. I want you to go into that because if there are people out there yeah. you're watching and you want to join Gerv's courses, you make a lot of money. Um, just yeah. remember to add me in. Um, <laughs> how would they need to apply for that? And what is your process? Because there is a process. There's it isn't a very just big as process. simple as just applying for no, it. No, you can't just Could go online and that? buy my course. Yeah. Um, now, the reason for this is I've got a million followers on Instagram. And everyone who I take on to one of my courses gets my personal WhatsApp mentoring and gets free. That's worth a million itself. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> gets three to four phone calls. You ain't got Gerb's number, mate. <laughs> I'll give it to you. Yeah. Three to four phone calls with me as well, okay? And then you get the online course, which is mm. taught by me, presented by me, mm. video lessons, which you actually hear me in, okay? Yeah, yeah. And I made the slideshows for them. Now, the problem I've got is I'm going to have thousands of people every week wanting to join my course. Yes, of course, bro. Yeah, yeah? yeah? From a million people, you're going to. Yeah. I can't be on the phone to a thousand people. I can't be providing support to a thousand people. I could, I have got a team. I've got mentors, but no one wants to speak to them. They all just want Mr. Gavs, Mr. Gavs. So it's they true, can yeah. do all the back end stuff, but... At the front, everyone wants my mentoring, they want my help. So I've made a system where there's two ways. If it's a busy day, we'll send them a link. They can fill out an application form. The application form will automatically filter through the people and the ones that score the highest, they'll be offered an opportunity to get on my course, which we'll talk about more. Sick. Or they can message us. And if it's not a busy day, drop them a reply. Someone who manages my account will then ask them a few questions about themselves why they should get into the course, why we should give them a space, and they have to prove it to us why we should give them a space, okay? It's like a proper job interview, isn't it? Yeah. So that's... That's actually amazing. Yeah. That's what they have to do to get onto my course. And now there's a bit more to it. My course, you pay a few hundred pounds to get onto, but then you pay £3,500 after you've made £10,000 in profit. It's a no-brainer, isn't it? So yeah. even the questions we ask them, I have to make sure that they're people that I think are capable of making that 10K because how am I going to make money? I ain't doing this for free. 
Yeah, yeah, you get exactly. what I'm trying yeah, to say. 100%, yeah. So I have to have full motivation in those people and know they're dedicated to make this work so that I know that they're going to hit that 10K goal. Them making money makes you money. There you yeah, go. Yeah, exactly. That's so how technically, I what it. you're doing is you're investing in the person. Yes. Because yeah. the person's are, uh, uh, like an asset to yeah, you. Yeah, 100%. You would know just by speaking to them. There you go. I, ah. I'm getting on the phone to them and I'm building that relationship with them. Now, if I give you an example, I've had before people who have hit 10K, not paid me, blocked me. I laugh because I'm like, karma will get you good karma's got my back. Yeah. I don't need to do anything. What's three and a half grand? You get what I'm trying to say? <laughs> Next month, you're going to struggle to make that 10K because you ain't got my help anymore. So you yeah, just yeah. messed up. You could have had that consistently if she was paying me. Number two, people ain't always going to hit the 10K. And I have to be the best judge of a person as much as I can. But through messaging, through an application form, you can't kind of recognize how motivated someone always is. Yeah, you're right. Now, I'm going to have people who will come on. I'm not saying every person that comes on makes 10K. Impossible. Mm. There's going to be people that don't work hard enough. They've got too much other stuff going on in their lives that they would rather do than make 10K in a month if they're making free. It don't make sense to me. You're making free to 4K a month. That's if you're on a good job from a nine to five, yeah? I'm giving you an opportunity to make 10K in a month, but you'd rather put more work and effort into what you're doing, even though there's so much potential here. Yeah, Why? of course. It don't make sense True. to me. So what, here's a question for you. Do you keep an eye on what they make? Do you see that? No, they have to be fully transparent with me. What if they don't want to tell you the truth? What do you uh, ask No, for? so they'll send screenshots of, so I can see that whole, so they'll send me screenshots of their Shopify dashboard, it's called, which shows the number of sales they've had, etc. If they obviously refuse to show me that, then cool, bye. And only, if they, yes, only if they what hit 10,000? Yes. What if they show 999? No, don't pay me. That's brilliant. That's an amazing loophole. But, uh, I mean, Sign me up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you've got to go through the process, mate. You might have yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, you've already got his number, so that's where's, right. your, where's your office, if you huh? don't me asking? Canary Wolf, we've got offices. I'll give you a story about someone who's done a one-to-one -one session in our Canary Wolf office, yeah? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, his name's MSD. Um, if you search who I'm following on Instagram to search MSD, you'll find him, okay? Yeah. Now, at the age of 17, he got into e-commerce. He dropped me a message. He's 19 now saying, bro, I want one of your courses. Yeah. Uh -uh. You can't get on one of my courses unless you're 18, okay? What's the reason for that, sorry? Um, I just don't want people to think it's uh, a get-rich-quit scheme or anything like that. And you're 17, I don't think you're mature enough to make a decision like that, okay? You're still, I want you to carry on doing your school stuff, your uni stuff. I myself have a degree. Yeah, yeah. And I always think that's still important. Yeah, that's there in the background. I've never used it, but it's there. It's okay? there, yeah, yeah, of course. I don't want to be the type of person that's speaking to a 17-year-old, making them want to drop out of school. Because, Education and that, yeah, yeah, yeah of course. I'm yeah. not that type of person. So that's why I say, nice, man, yeah. turn 18 and then message me, okay? So yeah. he went into e-commerce himself at 17, turned 18, hits me up, says, Govs, I want a one-to-one -one session with you. And he actually waited to uh, turn 18. He waited well, to turn yeah. 18. No. And I don't really do one-to-one -one sessions just because... You don't know who you can trust to meet in person, etc. But I thought it's an 18 year old lad. He messaged me when he was 17. What is there? So he's waiting him. this long. The yeah, least yeah. I can do is see him. Yeah. So charged him two and a half grand for a day. Oh, wow. And he got my full time. He got my full course and my full mentoring. And even after that, he got phone call access to me anytime he needed help. Yeah. Yeah. And we started his whole e commerce journey on a different scale. Yeah. And scaled it up and was very successful. A year later, I'm talking this January, I've took him on at the age of 19 as a mentor at Academy to Earn, wow. where when I'm not available sometimes, yeah. he will help you. He will provide you support. If I'm on holiday, if I'm busy out the country and you need immediate support, he's another person you can he's contact. He's that good, yeah? He's that good. Like, wow. Imagine putting your trust in someone at the age of 19. Yeah, yeah, of Mad. course. Now, on Thursday, he's picking up a Maserati. At the age of 19? At the age of 19, bro. Wow. At the age of 19. Uh, it'll be on my story on like Saturday, Sunday, whenever I see him. Keep yeah. an eye out for it. Definitely. He's picking oh, wow. up a Maserati at the age of 19. That's wow. respect, my brother. Brilliant, man. Yeah, and fam, you know, you know what I'm trying to say? That's yeah. amazing, bro. And he's still at uni. He ain't going to drop out of uni. He ain't going to do any of that because I've even told him, even when I was making money at uni, you don't drop out, man. You've yeah. worked all the way up to that age to get there. Just get your degree still. If you yeah, don't want to not use your degree, that's what to you. Just get it now. You put all that work in, you might as well. You get what 100%. I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. That's brilliant, man. I have to say that. But uh, yeah, age 19, buying a Maserati, you lot will see it on my story. And I was just like, okay, let's and, do it. And he messages me. He's like, yeah. I need to sort my insurance up, but I'm 19, I want to get it. I was like, I've got someone for you. Don't worry. So you're like <laughs> a full on mentor for him as well. Yeah, isn't full it? on yeah. mentor, one to one, helping him. Do you get a buzz out of that? Yeah. yeah, man. Why would you? I can see it. You, yeah, you, you can see really I'm excited. getting excited. Yeah. 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 Like, you didn't have to mention that. Story. If you didn't want to. Yeah. Yeah. See, I like that. You see, the thing is, that's where people are so judgmental on that. We're going to come to that now because the reason why I'm saying that about you being judged is. 
obviously when we got to know you, me and Seth, we both, you know, people obviously get to know, you know, we follow each yeah, other yeah. now on Instagram or whatever. Yeah. And people, the first thing that happened, I remember, was like, you know, don't associate yourself with this scammer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And at first I was alarmed by it. I'm like, why is everyone just going so ham on this guy? Like, you never know the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so true. But then you put two and two together and you think, you know what, he's got success. He's got a nice car, nice house, jewelry, whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. And then obviously you just feel like that's very easy for people to say, you know, he's a scammer. Yeah. Mm. Don't know nothing about you. Don't yeah. know what you're about, what your morals are, you know, what nothing. you stand for. Yeah. Like now you're talking about another guy making money and I swear uh, to God I'm for a minute, so you're happy. talking like it's yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There you go. And that's why I'm thinking in my head like, how does that feel for you being labelled a scammer, bro? Even though you know that you're so anti yeah, that you're sort of stuff. That whole yeah, stuff. And you're helping others yeah, making there money. You go. Yeah. And I'm not even taking the money from them until they've made money. Exactly. So That's it gets to me. It used to get to me a lot, okay? I used to reply to people messaging me. Sometimes I'd even, someone DM me, you're a scammer, blah, blah, blah. I'd be like, give me a number, let me call you. Call yeah. them, and I'd, on the phone, tell them exactly what I do, convince them I'm not a scammer, they'll leave the phone call going, oh my God, I'm so sorry. So just to chuck in before you forget as well, it's, he's so transparent as well that he's basically saying they have full control of everything. If they don't want to send me the screenshots and stuff like that, then obviously he won't stop, he'll stop yeah. working with them. Yeah, but he won't, he won't control of their money. Yeah. That's mad. I could yeah. have been saying, okay, well, everything you make comes to me and yeah. then I'll pay you yeah. just to but make sure. That. But no, that's you amazing. the money, you pay me. Mad. There you go. Yeah. And that's full transparency if you think about it. Exactly. And that's me giving my trust to them rather than them having to trust me. Yep. So it's the other way around. They yeah. could, they're the ones, I've had someone who's not paid me before, so they're the ones scamming me. Exactly. You get what I'm trying yeah, to say? True, yeah, true, yeah, yeah. true. It's the other way around. Them up. There you yeah. go. So um, at first, he probably used to get to you, and then yeah. as it became like the norm, like yeah. you start getting used to it. You get used to it. It's sad when you say it, but when you're successful, you're going to get hate. Yeah. And if I wasn't on social media and I was successful, they wouldn't call me a scammer, they'd call me a drug dealer. Because I'm yeah. brown, young, making money. You get what I'm trying to say? They'd call you a Ford star. They'd call you anything just because you're young, you're brown, you're making money. It must not be legitimate, even yeah. if it is. It's and exactly that's like their mindset. Saying. That is their mindset. And that's how they want to think about it. So for me, it was just like, okay, I need to get used to it. I need to overcome this. I'm online. I'm in people's faces. I'm doing what they kind of want. Of course, they're going to criticize and hate. It's like they're, they're stereotyped you. There you go. It's like From the get-go. Yeah, it's like what I saw on... Um, I saw BBC do an interview on you. There you go. What was all that about? So let me actually explain that from the beginning, how we got to that stage of the BBC and yeah. then what I actually think of that, okay? Because I mean, BBC is like one of the biggest. Yeah, biggest. to have them, them to do to, you. Yeah. To have them labelling you whatever they want to label you. Yeah, Anything yeah. negative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you, firstly, how you come, overcome that. Overcome, yeah. That's mad. You know, some of the people like that, they go into That'd depression. Give up. Yeah. Oh, 100%. You know? yeah. And I don't think BBC or any company in that matter before naming or shaming or talking about someone, especially making a documentary on it. Mm -hmm. should have done you know? their research properly. They should have done a little yeah. bit of research. This and I'm not saying they're wrong, or I'm not saying yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah. On this channel, we don't ever, we always say there's two sides, two sides to a story. Normal. Now their story's clearly out there and I wanted your take on it. Yeah, because okay. clearly that's what a lot of people still think you're involved in yeah. Yeah, scamming people. Yeah, I don't do anything when... to do with foreign exchange market and the documentary is about me and the foreign exchange market, okay? Right. Me and Forex. But I don't do anything to do with Forex okay. okay. Now, when I was at university, I needed money, okay? Mm -hmm. I myself haven't come from a rich background. Lived in a two-bedroom council flat with my brother and my mother. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Love the rhyme with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sound like a bar. <laughs> <laughs> now, I thought, okay, I need to start making money. And yeah. I started growing my social media. I saw social media was a big thing. I've seen people all over social media, yeah. uh, maybe two years older than me, making money. I thought, what are they doing? So I went into social media and I started affiliate marketing where you're promoting other people's services and products on social media in exchange for commission. Right. So like promos. Yeah, yeah, okay? course, yeah. I started doing that. And then I had a Forex course, which I was also promoting, um, which was a third party's course. And yeah. I was getting commission off of selling that. And it was doing well. People were enjoying it. They were liking it. And that's when I was gaining more followers because I was actually, people were using that course and that it was benefiting. You was actually helping them out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So people were making money from these courses. Now, a big brokerage in central London has seen that I'm in the whole foreign exchange market type of thing, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. promoting it on social media. And they've hit me up saying, come to our central London office and meet with us, okay? Now, why not? I've Googled them, they're FCA reg regulated, which means the government is fully saying you can trust this trust company, this, yeah, okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So why not? I've gone to their office in central London and massive place. I'm talking hundreds of computers. Maybe I'm exaggerating a bit. Maybe it was like 50 computers, but you know when you walk in, yeah, it's like yeah. wild. Like a Wolf of Wall Street. Bare thing. employees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bare employees there. And I thought, okay, cool. 
seems legit. Yeah. And they said to me, look, we want you to bring us on people onto our foreign exchange market thing. <laughs> bring people yeah, on to our... you out in the camera. Isn't it? I'm just like, <laughs> no, I'm just looking at everything that was cold, man. <laughs> bring people onto the foreign exchange market for us and we'll trade on their behalf. We'll yeah. give you a commission. But it, this was like June, July time. But for the first six months, the commission we give you, we want you to put it back into your social media and marketing, therefore growing your own social media platform, which will benefit you. Yeah. And then from January onwards, we'll give you a set commission and you can keep that. Right. Okay, cool. Why not? Yeah. So I went ahead and I said, let's do it. Start promoting their thing where you they trade on your behalf. Yeah. Clients came on board. They signed documents with Infinox themselves. Okay. So they've all done their paperwork with Infinox. They know Infinox is trading for them. Everything is fully, they know it's Infinox. All I've done is as simple as refer them. Refer I've made them, a, yeah. Middleman. Yeah, I've made a group yeah. chat as well, though. I put all the clients in the group chat. I said, if you ever have any questions or queries... There's a group chat here. You can ask your questions. I'm an admin in the group chat and someone who works at Infinox is also an admin in the group chat, okay? Right. Now, it was going well. People are making money and people are therefore putting in more money because they're making money. Of course, yeah. Now, one thing we need to make clear is I wasn't the only person promoting this. There was loads and loads of other influencers. Right. Okay. The only reason that my name's come up so much in social media is because I was the only influencer that made a group chat with them all. Because I trusted the process so well. I didn't think there was anything dodgy or anything weird going on. I put them yeah. all in the group chat. I said, look, anyone has any concerns? You can speak to each other. Everyone just like, let's grow it as yeah, like, a little yeah, yeah. community thing. So that you shows your intention say. wasn't to screw yeah. no one. Yeah, exactly. You made a group so everyone exactly. could talk to each other. There you go. Yeah, you I'm your not trying to hide things. There, 100%. Yeah. I'm not trying to hide anything. Whereas all the other influencers, they've just referred them and said... You deal with it. Yeah, there yeah, you yeah, go. Yeah. And for me, I thought, you know what, I'm a transparent guy. Anyone's got any problems, I ain't going to have time to message all these people one-to-one. Let's put them all in a group chat, yeah? Yeah. I've done that. Now, November, it starts going a bit down. December 24th, half of it's, like, dropped. Yeah. Infinox say, don't worry, we'll get it back up by, like, March time. December 26th, Boxing Day, whole thing's collapsed. No. As in, the full investment's, like... Whatever Infinox had, I wasn't the only influencer promoting this, remember, but yeah. whatever they had, which was like 4Ms, had gone to like 20K, I think. Wow. And, and then people in that group had invested heavily in that. Yes. And now. Could we ask how much? Um, well, minimum they could start with was 500 quid, but obviously some more, as they were making profits, started putting more money in, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Some people must have lost big then. I yeah. think like 5K plus like type of thing. And yeah. I thought, okay, we need to resolve this situation. Let me make another group chat with these lot and take the Infinox employee out. Yeah. So I made a separate group chat, told them to join that. And I'm just getting death threats now. So you even so tried to make a group chat to help them out? Because really truly, you could have just disappeared. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I've tried that and I'm getting death threats. So I'm like, okay, no, this isn't the best thing for me to do. I've left that group chat and thought, okay, I can't do anything. I've then gone to the police station in Ilford and basically told them, look, I'm getting death threats. This is what's happened. Is there anything yeah. we can do? Guy at the desk literally says, there's nothing that can be done. It's like wow. risky trading, etc." Yeah. That's it. I obviously leave that. And I think it's a few days later, newspaper articles start coming up, calling me a scammer. Because I put all of these people in a group chat. They thought the best thing that they could do to get their peas back is Attack go to you. the media <laughs> and tell them I've scammed them. Yeah. And now the media is also saying I've scammed 4 million. And I'm thinking... The clients I brought in was like a couple hundred grand. Yeah. They said that the whole Infinox fund... They put it all on your head. Put it all on my head. So they've used me as a scapegoat, used me as the face wow. of it. And I'm now in a situation where I've lost everything as well because I've not only just put Infinox's money, they were giving me into marketing. I put my own money and savings into the marketing as well, which I'd made previously from the affiliate marketing stuff I was doing, mm. yeah? yeah? But, sorry, how, how many roughly people did you have in that group chat? A um, couple hundred. A couple hundred? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, couple cool. hundred. I was going to say because... For them to throw the whole thing on your head, I thought that would have been a bit of poor yeah, yeah, yeah. But Okay, so enough. yeah, no, that's what happened. Yeah. So now you've got a four million debt on your head, yeah. according to the media. According to the media. How I've did you, no, before hours. you carry on the story, bro, how was that time for you? Like, well, oh, obviously it's clear to say that it was a really hard time, but what went through your mind? Did you feel scared? Did you feel like... Scared, you know, your, suicidal, what was like your I family's failed, like, oh, I felt and, like... And you're only 23, so how old was you then? 20. Wow. Wow. I'm young. Yeah, man. Like now wow. I've grown so much as a man. Like, I was 20, bro. I was a boy. But like, that's the same. I can see the hair on your chest. <laughs> <laughs> You're a man now. Coming through. You know, yeah, you have to show that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but what I mean by yeah, that, that, that must have been so hard bro, for it's like family. your whole world's... Cl- no, it's mad stuff. Like, you can't, I can't even describe it. Like, what can you even say, bro? Mom's crying. Like, it's all just gone pear-shaped, isn't it? Family members, aunties, you know they are in the... Like, of course. Asian, yeah, Asian community. Oh, my God, what's your son done? Blah, blah, blah. The saddest thing like, about the Asian community, right? 
is when there is an issue. Yeah. Instead of calling your mom or your dad or your brothers or whoever, and they want to be nice about it. Yeah. They're always trying to get the little two-piece worth and oh, putting yeah. you down. It there could be something go. where it's got nothing to do with them. They haven't spoken to your mum for years upon years, mm. bro. And, and then when something happens, <laughs> they hear something where their daughter or son have said, oh, mum, you know him yes. or her? Have you seen what she's doing? Mm. And then the mum will be like, without even, real, without even looking into it, yeah. straight away, pick the phone up. Yeah. <laughs> there you and go. Five years, you've been good. Nothing to say about you, yeah? And all your friends are good and everything. One thing goes wrong. I told him not to comment. hang around with them people. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's always yeah. because he hangs around with that person. But I always <laughs> think like it happens more in our community. Oh, it does. But because we're not in other communities, maybe it's a community thing. I don't yeah, know. Because yeah, yeah. obviously yeah. we won't know how other communities are. We're only going to judge of what we see. So no, yeah, for right. you, you, now at that time, you're getting all these Bro, calls. It was mad. I basically lost everything. Influx ain't going to pay me now in January like we agreed. So they've not. I've just lost all of that. I've got newspapers, but I'm talking like Daily Mail, the UK top newspapers yeah. calling me out and saying I've scammed people. I've deactivated my Instagram and then reactivated it obviously a few months wait, later. First of all, wait, not only did they lose out money then, so technically you lost out I've money. I've lost out money, yeah. So I've why haven't money. they gone to Influx and saying they scammed? Why did they go Bro, to Bro, they you? stopped replying to me. Influx like cut me off. Wow. Um, yeah, it's just mad. I mean, I don't blame the people in the group because you always get contact. Bro, you know yeah. what? I've always thought of it like that. If it was the other way around, I'd do the same thing. Man. Yeah. I'd do the same. So I've never blamed the actual investors themselves, but you know you signed your paperwork with Infinos. Go like to a it's protest so true, outside yeah, there. Go do something there. You know they're the big company. You ain't going to get your four M's back off a 20-year-old boy. It's so true. <laughs> you get it's what so I'm true. trying to yeah, say? Where am I going to pull it out of? I don't have it. Yeah. I lost my stuff as exactly. well. You get what I'm trying to say? And then it's like now where I've come up so bad, I mean, so mad, sorry, but I've come, I'm pulling out McLaren's and stuff. He hid it. Yeah. That yeah. was that money. Yeah, yeah, yeah true. That's thing. so true, man. That's so true. And above, unfortunately, bro, I don't want to be the bearer of the bad news, but the truth of the matter is, that's what people no matter think. what you do in life, yeah. you are going to be labelled because of how big the media yeah. portrayed you. Unless they get to know you like we have, there you or go. your friends. Media, BBC. Yeah, it's BBC, bro. Yeah, yeah. And that would always be attached to you. So now. the BBC thing's a different thing then. So now a few months so I've now thought, okay, you know what? I ain't gonna let this bring me down. Yeah. Let me see what I can do. I reactivate my social media yeah. and I ain't got anything really, but let's see what I can do. Trying to try little things here and there, e commerce, yeah. buying and selling cars, whatever I can do to just try and make some peas now. And a few months down the line now. BBC have got in contact saying we're making a documentary about you. Do you want to speak to us? Same. No, I don't. Same money talks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they want to, now they want to talk to you about e-commerce? Uh, no, no, no. BBC wanted to talk to me about the whole Forex thing, yeah? So BBC have said, so the documentary ain't out yet. Oh. This is before the documentaries come out. They've hit me up saying we want to speak to you and I've just like gone, no man, this ain't happening. Hoping yeah. that that'll make the documentary I not think come you out. Done that. And they said my enemies are after me. No, so this yeah. is why it gets crazy now. So documentaries now come out a few months later. Um, and I put a statement on my Instagram saying exactly what happened. Yeah. Okay, with Infinox saying, look, they've twisted it. This is what happened. Infinox were the ones in charge, blah, blah, blah. I've done it as an actual post, yeah? Yeah, yeah? And I put that statement up there. And bro, I'm talking like within two hours, that documentary just disappeared. I play of itself. It was meant to air on BBC One that day. It didn't air. Bro, it disappeared. Documentary gone. Wow. I don't know why or how. Yeah. It's come two hours after I put my statement. I don't know if that's linked to it. I still don't know to this day. Yeah. But it's gone. I'm thinking... Okay. Was, it, was it your face and everything? Your name, everything? Yeah, yeah, everything. They even showed my old house on it. Wow. Exactly. Wow. Yeah, exactly. That's, that, that's crazy yeah, how exactly. they do that, isn't it? Yeah. It's crazy. And then I isn't thought... Isn't that kind of like painting a target on your own? That's what I was thinking, yeah, you know? That's exactly <laughs> I'm thinking. I don't think they no, should have done that, no? It, they should have done that. And they did that. Yeah. And then it's gone. I'm thinking, okay, cool. Yeah. I've now carried on with my whole e-commerce. I'm getting there. I ain't making crazy money, but I'm getting there. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, I'm yeah. starting e-commerce. I've started Academy to Earn. I thought, okay, look, I want to help people. People don't trust me at this point, but some people them. who know my story, they do still trust me. They still are getting, joining Academy to Earn, yeah? Yeah. Now, it's going well. Yeah. And then it was this year. BBC hit me up. Again? Hit me up. We want to put a documentary back. We've seen your podcast with James English. I'm not sure if any of you lot have seen it, but it's where yeah. I basically say everything that's happened with Infinox. Yeah. They go, we've seen your podcast with James English. We now understand your side of the story. We want to put episodes one to four back out and give you episode five, where you give your side of the story, as long as you agree. Right. I'm thinking, I'm just going to put the bad stuff. It's all going to come back. But then, okay, I'm clearing my name as well. Maybe I can clear my name for good this time. Let's do it. Yeah. 
Why not? Yeah? Smash my it. lawyers told me not to do it. I yeah. said, you know what? I want to just clear my name and get this done with now, yeah? Yeah. It's a risk. Let's take it. So I go... The only risk is, is hopefully people make it to episode five. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's yeah. all. <laughs> stop at episode four. So I go there and I record with them. Like, it was like podcast type of setting, to be yeah, honest. Yeah. It's like two hours, three hours long, yeah? Wow. Bro, you know what these lot then go and do? They what? cut a two hour, three hour interview into 20 minutes into the parts where I look bad and put that up. No way. And that happened this year. And then the, the whole thing's come back out again. I did, it was off, man. Why did I agree? Oh, that's why your lawyers should have said, I mean, they told Why did I to. agree, bro? Like the 20 minutes, there's still some parts which are my side of the story and you can yeah, kind yeah. of see it, but not as open as this where so what I'm they're trying to, what, hold on. So what they're trying to claim, <laughs> I gave them they're trying to paint a picture of you being this crook. Mm. And you've gone there tried to and clear you, tried to clear yourself and now you look like a bigger sham than you were when you... That's mad. No, but do you know what? Again, I'm not saying anything. I gave them paperwork. They're from picking my, and choosing what they wanted to use. From my emails. I gave them my emails, sorry. So yeah. I gave them stuff from my emails, which I printed off for them and gave them, which was like stuff that Infinox sent me, which proved that I wasn't part of it. Like literally, bro, Infinox has sent me emails saying they take full liability. So I've given that to the BBC saying, show this on TV. But they haven't mentioned that nowhere in the actual episode five. And they haven't shown it. And they told me, yeah, we could show it. We could do it, blah, blah, blah. They never showed it. They never even mentioned the part where I talk about me having this. No, man. You get what I'm... It's like... And then I've seen a massive link between Infinox yeah. and BBC. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's all getting crazy out here, bro. I've then <laughs> seen a crazy link between Infinox and BBC. On episode two or three of the documentary, BBC promote a Forex um, company. Right. Saying, look, this is how proper legitimate Forex is done. Yeah, it gets crazy. They show a massive educational center um, of a company that sell Forex courses and do Forex investments and stuff like that. They're, sort of, they're, like, they're like flaunting it. They're like, this is what it's really like. They interview the CEO, etc. Bro, if you do your proper research, and I know this because I've got proof of this, yeah. and I showed it to the BBC, that company is funded by Infinox. So they just promoted Infinox in the documentary as well. So you tell me what can I do, bro? When there's this much corruption That's a going mad on, conspiracy. They then, then like I can wow, show you because I had Inf uh, when Infinox sent me an email like yeah. a few times, they invited me to partner events yeah. with Infinox, and that was a partner event between Infinox and that other company. Wow! And then that other company is now directly promoted on the BBC documentary. That's a madness, isn't it? I don't. I don't yeah, I just. Want to so know there's the, something going on here. Yeah, there's definitely something going on. You get on, what yeah. I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you think you're getting used as scapegoat? Yeah, I was used as a scapegoat fully. And do you think that's because of your culture? Do you think that's because you're... Think, do you reckon it's more to do with who you are? No, and your... it's nothing to do with who I am. I'll tell you why it's nothing to do with who I am, yeah? If you go on Google and do a simple search, yeah? Here's one thing that I'm reading. Taui stars use Instagram to promote illegal Forex trading, yeah? From Kim, Card Kim Kardashian to Katie Price, celebrity Forex scams revealed, Yeah? Hmm. Celebrities under fire for promoting risky, unregulated investments. Love Island and Geordie Shore stars are amongst the influencers involved. Why is there no documentary on these lot? Is it because I'm brown? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's They're bigger than me as well. I'm not, I'm not as you. big as bloody Kim Kardashian and these Geordie Shore and Love Island. Lot. They're more famous than me. Why has there never been a documentary on them, but they've done it on the brown kid? Wow. Word. Yeah. That's, that's so that's, true. That's deep, deep. So now yeah. it's clear the media's racist. And I'll just say it straight, straight media's racist. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. The media is just racist. How many times have the media mocked me for living with my mum? That's part of our culture, man. Oh, 100%, bro. Yeah, man. He lives with his mum. He's living with his mum. Hold on, the media faking it. Yeah, yeah, bro. I'll show you. What? Like, there's an actual article where they've made a whole article saying, I'm faking it because I live with my mum. What's, what's, what's living with your mum got to do with it, though? That's crazy. So now that's racism because that's our culture, bro. Yeah. We live with our parents until we're married and some pe sometimes people even stay once Yeah, respect married. to them, yeah. man. Yeah, respect you go. to the mothers. Yeah. Like, yeah. I've always said I'll move out once I'm married, etc. But why am I going to go buy a flat in London or live in a flat in London by myself and look at four walls when I've got my whole family at home? Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. You don't need to, bro, where we come from, we don't even need to talk about that. You don't even need to talk People will know man. straight away. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's where, that's where I think cultural differences play a big part. Everyone, look, everyone's mm. do what they want. You know, we respect everyone. Mm. Even our religion teacher respect everyone yeah yeah but you know when it comes to culture i think culture is very hard to understand if you're mm. not from that culture no, you're right yeah. you know sometimes what happens is when you for example being a muslim when you tell people you have to wash yourself or you have to pray five times no, a day right. they're like how do you pray five times a day you're like no yeah, don't, yeah, your yeah. god you know why, why does god want you to pray yeah. and then going into it you're just like you know what 
can you even be asked to talk to them of why it's unfortunate you know, they're uneducated yeah and instead of educating themselves i mean some people like exactly what you said some people say yeah but i'm trying to educate myself if you tell me but it's like sometimes you feel like no they're only asking you the questions no what it is their attention dumb. span my bro it yeah, doesn't yeah, go yeah, that far, go that far. For them, yeah. but they gave me so, episode five because they know people's attention span isn't gonna go far exactly yeah 100 yeah. bro and just naturally i'm not saying the bbc are racist well, yeah. I'm not saying anyone's racist, but what I am saying you ain't, is I you have got. I yeah, am. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but you, bro, because you, you've been, a, you feel like you've been a victim of yeah, being targeted, isn't it? Yeah. And I can say what I believe in. I do believe that the media plays a big, big role in influencing yes. a whole nation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and what they put out is majority of the time what people believe. Yeah, you know, we can all talk about now the COVID situation. You know, nowadays, but what's happened now is quite concerning because. There's an uh, infection out there or a virus yeah, that's affecting that's kids. kids. Sep- yeah, yeah, it's yeah, affecting exactly. strep A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's yeah. happening now, bro, it's so sad to see that, you know, the way they're putting it out in the media, they're not p- giving enough coverage on it. Schools are still open. Yeah. People are still taking their kids to school. Why? Yeah. We're yeah, talking like just now, bro. Just now I'm sitting here, I'm getting messages. Literally while we're sitting here and it's my family talking about we're not going to send our, we don't want to send our kids to school. And then you're thinking like, why don't the school, uh, the the government, or anyone, just close schools for now. What is the big problem? The media control everything. everything. And I went, so unless true. it's not your own son or your own daughter or someone you know, mm. you're not going to take it as a serious issue. But right now, parents are going through an absolute madness, bro. They no, need to, right. they, they shouldn't be ripped in two thoughts thinking the school's going to either give us some sort of fine, you know, fine or yeah. Yeah. take action. So true, While right. our kids, you know, our kids might, they mean you know, might never you come back. The school does. Yeah. It's, it's, it's ridiculous, bro. And that's why I think, you know, media, bro, media plays a huge part you in influencing. How much negative stuff that was about the World Cup? Because oh, yeah. it's held in a yeah. Muslim country. You get what I'm trying to say? 100%. Yeah. That's another just, media thing. There you go. Value the culture, man. But let me ask, you, let me ask you another question, right? Yeah. Where's COVID now? <laughs> Where is Where's COVID? Where's COVID? Where no, COVID? I'll tell you what I feel so shit about, yeah? Mm. And I'll say this as Bro, it, it was is. a few weeks ago, I tested positive for COVID, but I was feeling perfectly fine. Like, I had a bit of a cough. I thought, no, my mom's now, like, do a COVID But guess what? I had a bit of a cough. But guess what, bro? You, I'm still going you out, don't, yeah. No, but you don't need to now isolate. Yeah, yeah you, you don't, don't now. Yeah. So this is now, let me ask you a question, right? How's the same virus now fine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There was a time when, when I remember talking to you. Wait, so what's the point in testing yourself? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It makes no sense. And then you remember there was a time when... The top question, yeah. are you vaccinated? Yeah. Are you vaccinated? Mm. Oh shit, you're not. I had a few friends, without mentioning the names, I feel like they were smarter than me. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. I'm not saying I don't believe in COVID because well, people died from it. Of course. And I will never sit here and say I don't believe in it because I, 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 I got really badly ill at one point. You remember what happened yeah, to yeah, me, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm not saying it's not real, but I'm just saying the people that didn't take the jab or didn't put their bodies through that they're exact, they're fine just like we are. Yeah, you're now, right. Now don't just say, oh yeah, but watching the future, because that could flip in the future. We could be the ones that have the problem. 100%, mm. yeah. Now if they, you know, uh, one of the, you know, things that re- I really, really remember and I think, I kind of wish I didn't listen. They were like, if you're not ill, why are you fixing it? Yeah. yeah. You know, if you're not ill, don't fix it. It's don't like do me, something. I had if- the job because I wanted to go on holiday. <laughs> That's what do you see you what I mean, what? bro? I, and the way they lured you in. No other option. Yeah. And, and that's just me. I'm not saying it's not right or wrong, okay? So yeah. no one come at me and start saying, oh, you know, you're telling us not to take the jab. <laughs> do what you want. Yeah. But in reality, in this country, you can't really do what you want. Yeah. Like, you I, are I, a, I you're a part the of the system. Okay. I was going on holiday literally like twice, three times a yeah. year. And I'd rather just pay for a COVID test. Yeah, I've got yeah, COVID. Yeah, yeah. Right, fair enough, I, I can't go. You, you know, you don't lose your money. You just rebook it for another But again, time. the point of bringing this up, that's yeah. another debate, but the point of bringing this up was because what you said before, the media is so powerful. Mm, yeah. And in your case, before they name and shame you, put you down, bro. Mm. I'm actually surprised that we're having this convo. Yeah, yeah, A yeah, lot man. of people, would they talk so much about mental depression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you went through, or man, anyone on no, your I level, know it was they, you know, just because you're probably mentally a very strong person, that you come no, across this. Obviously, I had my downfall. Of course, so you did. Like, I can imagine, bro. Shit, but they shouldn't have put a twenty-year-old through that, and then try to bring it out. What three years later? Mm. Again? And then yeah, that's what and I'm saying. So they've seen I've re- regrown myself, re-established myself with the whole e-commerce thing, and I'm, I'd say, back. You get what I'm trying to say? Did you ever thought, contact Okay, them? let's do this. Did you contact um, the person that contacted yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I contacted him. I was happened? like, Why are you twisted it? Blah blah blah. Why yeah. didn't you show the documents? All like legal reasons. We can't show these documents. Blah 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 blah. I'll show you lot the messages after. I've literally got the messages. No, but legal reason, I understand that, but the document's on you. 
Exactly, bro. That's an email that's been sent to me. If I want to show someone that email, I can show someone that email. You get what I'm trying to say? You show know what it, it to the world. Why aren't you showing it? Yeah. But you know what it is? It's a bit similar to what you just said. Look, if the media want to portray you in a certain way, unfortunately, it. there's nothing, nothing you, you can, can do, can do about it. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. you're all seeing what's happening now with the whole Balenciaga thing. Oh, yeah, oh. Right. It's an absolute madness. It's what's going mad. On. I was deep in. I was like, the whole company's done now because no one's going into their shops anymore. And everyone's People are burning, burning everything. Burning yeah. Burning stuff and God knows what. Like they burnt over. I know one guy. Well, not no one guy. I saw one guy yeah. online. Every single clothing in his um, closet was Balenciaga. He took it all out, started cutting it up, burning yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, bro, it's like I, me. I, I know you're going to buy two Balenciaga it. t-shirts and seen everyone burning it on socials. And I've got like peas I can buy other stuff, but I don't want to burn my t-shirts. Oh, I pay oh for. you rich, rich. <laughs> 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 no, we're going to go into. We're going to now go into your because you just mentioned you're rich, right? Oh yeah. Bro, nah, how I'm does it feel? I'm not rich. No, 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 bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You said it yourself. Now yeah, you're yeah, in the hot water now. Nah, 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 nah. I have to buy I mean, a t-shirt. What That's I mean by that is, bro, like, obviously we're talking about, you know, we can speak about conspiracies and media all we want. But I want to ask you about how life has changed for you mm. and what you felt like when you didn't have money and now that you've got money, what would you say has been the biggest difference in your life? from your perspective? Do you think it's the way mm. people see you now or do you feel more superior? Let's be honest here, yeah? yeah? yeah, yeah. How do you feel now? What would you say is the biggest difference? Now, I think at the beginning, I liked the whole clout thing. Yeah. Now, bro, I hate it. Serious? Bro, I'll be going to yeah. a club and I'm getting like 10 people taking photos with me. Hate it. And nah. come on, man, sometimes you want to go for food, bro. Yeah. Bro, I've got people coming up to me like, I'll give you an example, bro. I went to um, yeah. that Coco Asia. Yeah, yeah? yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Big, up Coco, big Asia. up Coco Asia. Because you put me on your story. The <laughs> they're giving me free dessert and everything, but then that's an example. You get what I'm saying? And that's because they're like, you know, Yaz, blah, blah, blah. I've known you for a long time, Mr. Guys, but now that I've seen you on Yaz's story, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to give you and your friends free dessert. Give me all my friends free dessert. And right. I like that. I respect that. But then yeah, sometimes yeah. it's just like. But off the record, eating. they're amazing people. Yeah, man. No Best she shall had, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll amazing love it. people, bro. And the most important, because you know, you're talking about Coco, we have to give them a little shout out. Our first ever episode was. In Coco's. Oh, there you so go. We have a lot of, lot of time for <laughs> yeah. our brothers there. Nah, nah, and a really good place, but that's a, like an example. Like, sometimes I'm going places and it's just like, you're Mr. Gaz, you're this. And I'm just like, even when I'm going with my mum, bro, to eat somewhere, it's coming up and it's happening. It's just like, oh. Do you nah. think people see you for your money, though, or for. Yeah, of course. I don't know because loads of people. How do you feel? Money. Like, yeah. Loads Personally, I money. would think, like, you know, because if I'm. Like, I think it's the piece. whole social media thing rather than the money. You get yeah, what I'm saying? Think... So there's so many people richer than me. I'm, I, I, no, I don't class myself rich. No, I no, class myself rich yeah. the day where I can go and buy anything I want. When I say anything, I mean go buy a private J if I want. That's okay, rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is still working hard to get to that point. No, but I mean, I'm for example, like, like no, yeah, right, you get yeah. what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, everyone, but, everyone yeah. has their own definition of yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, yeah. you know. See, with me, with me, it's not just about me. You know, just because the cameras here or anything. Yeah. For me, being rich is being healthy, mm. being able to do what you want. Yeah. But just the most important thing is, bro, just to stay healthy and be good, man. Yeah. yeah. No, that you're is, right. is is wealth to yeah. me. Yeah. Your perspective changes. Like sixteen year old me, if it goes. 23 year old you're just going to be driving a rose gold McLaren you'll be like oh you're rich rich yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no we have to also understand bro, but like now me as I'm mature it's like nah not really man those people have money man I'm nothing special because yeah. I'm like you get what I'm but trying to say but you know why it's like that I, I would say because you've already got it and I hang yeah. around with people that yeah. have it as well I'm not saying you don't value it but like for someone like, let's, like I like cars like me seeing that and thinking right he's 23 year old yeah, Allah, you know mm-hmm. like uh, you know may Allah bless you even more but like I mean you got a McLaren, I'm thinking, right, oh, like 23 year old got a McLaren. Yeah, 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 I get what you mean. I, I would love to have that as well. Mm. But I value it more because I don't have it. Yeah, but once you got it though, then once you, you got wouldn't it, value you're it as feeling much. Like, yeah. No, it's very true. Once you got it, you don't value it as much. And it's a bit sad to say, but that's how it is. Life's constantly chasing. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's mad, and I'm saying that myself. Like, you'll get mo- a lot of people on podcasts that would go, you shouldn't chase money, you shouldn't. But deep it, why are you making money still then? It's you so get true. what I'm trying to say? Yeah, I'll yeah. give an example Andrew Tate. Like, I'm not sure if this is something you're saying, but he, something you probably say is something like, don't chase money. You get what I'm trying to say? But you're still working hard as a person. You're still wanting more, 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 more money. You get no, what I'm no, trying to say? No, no, 100%, bro. Yeah. I think with money, it's one of them things that, you know, you are, brother, whatever is written for you, as Muslims, we believe that. Mm. Yeah. Whatever's written for you, It'll happen. no one can take it. Yeah. Like, whether, yeah. I, I, I think, you know, the fact that I said I'm Muslim, and I do believe that that's a fact full stop. Yeah, yeah you it know? is. That no matter what you're, what's, what's already going to happen, it's going to yeah. happen. Yeah. How long you're going to be living for, how much money you're going to make, your whole life, it's all written, bro. Mm. So, 
Like the you might make a million, but your million might come in a bundle. Yeah, yeah, mine yeah. Mine might come throughout my 30 yeah, yeah, years. Yeah. And it's not yeah. even that. I think everything happens for a reason. I always reflect like this. Yeah. I'll give you an example. I think sometimes when the whole Infinox thing happened and I was the influence behind it, mm-hmm. those people were going to lose money whether they were going to lose money. They were going to lose money. You get what I'm trying to say. But the fact that I was the influencer behind it, yep. for me, it's like, did that happen to sort me out? Do you get what I'm trying to say? Did that yeah. happen to make me more humble, more value into yep. money? Because I was 19, they're thinking, oh, peace coming in mad, 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 crazy, like going yeah. party and blah, blah, blah. Now I value peace and value money so much. And I also now seeing it can be taken away from you of as course, quick yeah, as yeah. it can be gained from you. So the respect that I've got now is maybe that was something that needed to happen to me as an experience. I agree with that. For me to grow as a person and become even bigger. Yep. And deep down, you must be a bit bitter with everything that happened against mm. your name and you want to feel like, I'm going to make this right by yeah, being yeah. successful. You know what I mean? No, you're right. Let me ask you another question, bro, before we wrap up. It's just something I like asking people. Do you regret wasting money? Yeah. And can I ask you, what, what, is the, the, what would you say is the, you know? Clubbing. What's the most Clubbing, expensive yeah. thing you bought? Clubbing, I'd say cars, innit? Cars. Cars. And, but I don't think they're a waste of money because they yeah, kind of yeah. hold their value. Of course, yeah, 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 yeah. You pay 100 grand for a car, you sell it for 97, 98. You get what I'm saying? Like a few months later, you don't really lose money. Yeah, when yeah. you're saying biggest thing you bought isn't really something that's money gone. You see it like you an investment it, that you're, you're enjoying it. at it's the moment. It's coming back. When you want to sell it, it's coming back. So you where have you time. wasted money? Clubs. Yeah. Clubs. And it's so mad when you deep it, bro. Yeah. But I don't know why I was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> bottles upon bottles. Bro, bottles yeah. and bottles takes that impress who? That's yeah. Bro, me and the boys be going out, like yeah. doing like five, six grand bottle shows. Man. Why? Now I'd never do that again. Yeah, yeah. Like I went out last week uh, with two of my mates and between like three of us, bro, we bought a hundred pound bottle. We're happy, we're content. Yeah. I've got access to more people around me now that have money and we could have done bigger bottle shows. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. But it's maturity, bro, why? You get what I'm trying to yeah, say? Why? Yeah. When I'm 20, bro, I was doing bottle shows. I'm talking different levels, bro. But and again, I think I don't it comes know back why. to you've done it, though, innit? Yeah, you've done it, you, drained yeah, it, done it, it. And, bro, yeah. for me, it's just like, what a waste of money. And I deep it. Like, now I'm in a relationship, yeah. yeah Before yeah. you're doing bottle shows to impress girls in the club. Yeah. And why are you feeding you've probably got a boyfriend at home why are you giving alcohol to (laughs) (laughs) next guy's girl and paying for her night out in a sense I mean essentially you're basically paying for their alcohol like oh here's a free tab funding them yeah why (laughs) why would you do that like now bro if I get a bottle in the club with my mates only us are having that no one's having that you get what I'm trying to say you tight kid no one's touching (laughs) no one's touching that G (laughs) step away no you're watching it (laughs) I'm I'm handcuffing it to me (laughs) You know what I'm trying to say? I think think that's a a basic rule, bro. (laughs) Unless it's not your friends and people like that. Because, bro, look, I don't go clubbing. But that's the thing, bro. Because I don't go clubbing, I want to know how it feels to... Yeah. Just go to, up to some random person. Bro, no, I thought about it. That's, that's <laughs> what was happening, though. Bro, that's what was happening. You got 10 bottles and you see three guys. You're you know, <laughs> bro, you got even guys coming over. You got even guys coming over to have a combo with you and then just help themselves to the bottle and start so pouring. Can I ask you, bro, because you're, you you're into that, that scene. Not anymore, G. Well, you were. You've seen <laughs> it, right? Now, honest to God, I'm not just saying this because the cameras are on or whatever. Yeah. I don't like clubbing. I'm ne- I've done it a few times when my friends performed. I've yeah. been never got into it, yeah? It wasn't that I've ever paid at a door and... Yeah, yeah. So what you're telling me, the culture of a club would be, if me and you were sitting here, yeah. and we've got a bottle here, right? And we bought it for, say, 500 it would be quid. The, it would be, but that's yeah, yeah. And now, I don't know you. Yeah, yeah. And there's some girls sitting here, right? Yeah. Just because I've seen an empty cup, am I just going to go home a minute? <laughs> No, you're right. With it being your <laughs> bottle, you're culture, just going right? to start pouring it for next man. For what? I don't know. <laughs> no, but you know what? I, I, I said that pouring it on your watch and stuff like that. But you know what? When you got dirty money like that, not even dirty money. When you yeah, got but even if you've like got that, dirty money, you won't pour someone's drink. <laughs> but you're, you're flossing, <laughs> isn't it? You're, you're just stunting. Well, I used to do it best, and I don't know why. Drink. <laughs> <laughs> why would you pour your own one? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Bro, you're just pouring like you, other, yeah, yeah. other bro, people bad drinks and you're never seeing like them you, again. Yeah, chicken yeah. burger yeah. and going around saying, take a bite. You ain't going to do that. <laughs> you ain't going to do that. <laughs> no, <I'm> thinking, <laughs> what? 
<laughs> yeah, if the chicken burger was like gold plated, uh, no, what's well, the difference? No, because the drinks are worth like twenty five. Plus, yeah, if it was a pizza, if it was a pizza, that bottle, bro. You could be just mouthing the bottle. Yeah, bad and people mouthing the same bottle. And it could be a little pool in there. Come on, you're done. No, bro, it's mad because when you leave, when you leave the club, it's all alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just mouthing the bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mad because when you leave, when you leave the club, it's all alcohol all over the floor, bro. All over the seats and vomit and crazy. But look, bro, the best thing is I don't judge people that go club and enjoy it. You know, next time you go out, pour a drink for me. Nah, but the real club. <laughs> it's good you've come out of that you've seen yeah, that you know, you're mature not... you're mature it's a big thing I feel like for me I'm kind of happy at the same time because I've done it yeah 100% yeah. So yeah. you've got it out of your system it. bro because I'll be seeing 30 year olds still doing it <laughs> yeah yeah bro yeah yeah, yeah you of course you see it you see 30 40 year olds still doing it and then I'm like bro that's even are that... you still trying to get out of your system or what even is that, going but on even that that you know is, is um, age I don't think plays a part because you can if you go like to some high-end places. You see yeah. 60, yeah. 70 year olds. Yeah, they, yeah, but they could right. be just, but it, it depends on your intention, bro. Yeah, yeah, some people like that just to chill out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, that's different. That's why I say I'll get one bottle and share it between the mates. That's enough for us to drink on. Yeah. But if you're going to get excess amount to just flaunt away, then what are you you're doing? Wasting money. Man? Yeah, but you know, it's, just a, money, it's just a waste of money, man. You might as well go buy You might as well just go Birkin hand it out bag. outside. Yeah, yeah. Go to the, <laughs> Mrs. Birkin bag, Chanel. There you go. She's watching, she, you know, she's going to be <laughs> <laughs> setting you up a little bit. So, that pictures you were showing me earlier of that 100 grand bag, is that for your girl? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're chatting <laughs> shit. <laughs> we got him on gonna be like, going to be like tomorrow. So there's a hundred grand bag? Yeah, nah, I'm not up for it. I wouldn't even waste that money on the bank, bro. Mm. Nah, bro even, bro. even if you've got 50 million in the bank account, why are you going to waste a hundred grand on a bank? I'll be real with you, I probably would. About 50 million? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll so, Gav, you know, before we go, <laughs> she's, she, your one's like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, listen, before we go, it's going to be your last question. Yeah. And, well, for me, you might as well ask me. Yeah. I want to ask you a question. Bro, obviously, you know how people have a perception on somebody. We spoke about it before. Yeah. You've been in the line quite a few times when you've gone out and a lot of people have called you out mm -hmm. and they've said certain things about you and, you know, some people that you maybe you don't want to really even get into yeah, a confrontation yeah, yeah. in. What do you say to people that want to confront you or give you a hard time or look for retaliations? And, you know, on that end, are you one of them people that likes squashing a problem? Yeah, I don't like having beef with no one. There's no point in having beef with someone. Yeah. I see certain people like trying to call people out, etc. I've got nothing against no one. I sometimes understand like why people do that for the benefit of their business, etc. Yeah. But for me, I understand that, so I yeah. ain't got anything like against that person. It's like, okay, cool, you're doing what you're doing because you're trying to benefit yourself, yeah. Yeah. But then sometimes it's like be a bit more mature about a situation. Social media, all over social media, you got all these influencers beefing each another, celebs beefing each another for clout. Yeah. Why, man? Clout's getting to your head. Don't you don't need to. Me as a person. I'm focused on my own journey, focused on my own life. If I see a celeb or influencer calling me out, I'm just going to let it fly over my head from now so because it's what, it's man's it. just trying you to focus on what I'm doing. There yeah, you go. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say. And it happens loads of times. Like, we've seen it ourselves. You get what I'm trying to say. No, said, my and for me, said. you just got to be more mature. Don't hold grudges with people. If you've done something, you called someone out, you know why you've done it. Your intentions were to benefit you in terms of financial gain, etc. There's no point. Well said, bro. Yeah, yeah I, I salute that, bro. I salute yeah, that because you know you no when, you, when you've got thing at this age, man. Go yeah, yeah. Man. No, because the reason why I'm saying that because you're young and you've got mm. money and you know you probably see life a little bit different than the average Joe. Mm. But for you to say that, bro, that's respect, man. Yeah, hundred percent, man. Alright, bro, Gov, you know what? I know We're you've got to be at a concert. concert <laughs> Whose concert is it? End of, bro. I got a call on the oh, way here. Going, yeah. I've got you no, backstage. No, no, no. To be fair, you like Dappy. The oh, other yeah. two, uh, that Talisa, okay, she's alright as well. Yeah. But then the other guy, <laughs> yeah, she's alright as well. <laughs> she's alright right as well. Name? This is ba uh, Phaser. 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 Yeah, yeah, but you know, what? I'm actually, I'm actually glad they're back together. Yeah, man. yeah. But look, bro, enjoy the concert. Go on, bro. Yeah, man. And bro, just before we go, you might as well wrap up the podcast in a very nice way. I'm Yaz. This is Seth. So big us up. There you go. <laughs> I'm just saying it outright. <laughs> Say they are the real G. Yaz, big up Seth. Nah, literally, <laughs> made me feel really comfortable. It was a wicked podcast. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe drop some comments, subscribe yeah. to them, drop a like. I've also got my own YouTube channel as well, yeah. Mr. Gov. So check that one out. Start vlogging. Sure you subscribe, guys. Sure you subscribe, you know what? Guys. This stuff is so hard. They put so much effort in behind yeah. the scenes. And I know that because I'm trying to do vlogs and yeah, that's yeah, just walking yeah, around yeah. with a yeah. camera and it's yeah. effort. Yeah, <laughs> and these men trying to sort all of this out, that's crazy stuff. But yeah. Thank you guys and yeah. Guys, make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe and make sure you hit the bell notification so you don't miss none of our uploads. Peace, peace, love and respect. We're out.